Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Ricky. So in this video, I'll be sharing some multiplication skills. And for year four, we're actually doing soft multiplication number sentences involving any numbers up to five digits by up to two digit numbers, 100 and 1000 with the product up to 100,000. And for year five, we are doing multiplication number up to six digits and with a number up to two digits, 100 and 1000 with a product of 1 million. Year six is similar to year five. Yeah. Right, next, multiply by one digit. So here I will give you a number series 71,053 times 5. So here I will arrange them in a proper standard form. Here I need times table of 5 here. So 5 times 3, so 1, 2, 3, 15. Therefore I put 1 here and 5 here. So next one, 5 times 5, which is 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. So that 25, we are going to plus 1 here, so it becomes 26. So put 2 here and 6 here. Next, 5 times 0. 5 times 0, which is 0, plus 2, then I get 2. Next, 5 times 1, which is 5. Okay, I put 5. Next, 5 times 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is 35. So I put 35. Okay, we also can use lattice method to solve this number series. So 71,053 times 5. So of course, we need the times table of 5. Right, next one, we draw the blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 digit, it means we have 5 column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And multiply by 1 digit, it means 1 row. Now, next one, we draw a diagonal line. So from end to end here, we draw a line. Draw, 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 and draw. Now, the red color one is actually fill from the table here. Okay, 5 times 3, 1, 2, 3, 15. Therefore, we put 1 and 5. Next one, 5 times 5, which is 25. So you put 2, 5. Now, 5 times 0, which is 0, you put 0, 0. 5 times 1, which is 1. Therefore, you need to put 0 and 5. Okay, here, be very careful. If you mistakenly put 5, 0, it means 50. Therefore, when you are multiply and then get 5, just single digit, please make sure you put a 0 in front there and then follow by the digit, right? 5 times 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is 35. Now, after you have insert all the times table in the blocks, now it is time to do lattice method. So for the first one here, we bring it down and write 5. So these two number next step, we're going to plus them. 1, 5, which is 6. So next, we plus these two number, we get 2. After that, we plus these two number, we get 5. Followed by these two number, we get 5. And lastly, these 3 becomes 3. After that, we read the number from here to the end of here. So 355265, five, that is your answer if you are using lattice method. Next, multiply by two digit. So 548 multiplied by 37. This is two digits, right? So 548 times 37. Okay, of course, I need time table 3 and also need time table of 7. So the blue color one here means the first step I'm going to do, right? 7 times 8. So refer to the times table 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is 56. So put 5 here and 6 here. Next step, 7 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 28. No, don't forget there is a 5 here. So 28 plus 5, which is 
33. Okay, next, 7 times 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 35. So 35 plus 3, I get 38. Yeah, so the first step we have done. Now go to the second step, which is digit 3. Now, this is place value of tens. Therefore, when we start to insert the number at the bottom here, it should be starting from tens because this is 30 actually. 3, yeah? So look at the table 3 here. 3 times 8. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 24. So put 2 here and I insert 4 here. Right? Next one, 3 times 4. 3 times 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 12. Now, this 12 is going to plus these 2. Becomes 14. So put 1 here and 4 here. Next one, 3 times 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 15. This 15 is going to plus the 1 here becomes 16 so 1 6 now both number we already times it's time to plus them All right this 6 bring down 3 plus 4 which is 7 8 plus 4 which is 12 so 1 and 2 so 1 plus 3 plus 6 which is 10 1 and 0 so 1 plus 1 is 2 now, 20,276. We also can use lattice method to solve the number sentences. 548 times 37. Of course, we need the times table 3 and 7. So here, 548, 3 digit means 3 column. 1, 2, 3. And 3, 7 means 2 row. Okay, now after you have finished draw the block, now remember draw the diagonal line. Huh? This 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 and this okay the red color is actually from the times table so we're starting from this row three times eight one two three four five six seven eight twenty four therefore two four three times four one two three four twelve three times five one two three four five fifteen so one five Second row, 7 times 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 56. 7 times 4, 28, right? 7 times 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 35. After you have insert all the times table in the blocks, now it is time to do the lattice method. So at the end of this number, you bring down, this is 6. So next one, these three numbers we are going to add together. So 4 plus 5 plus 8, which is 17, which is 17. So put a 1 here and 7 here. Now, next, these few numbers we're going to plus all together. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5, which is 12. So put 1 here. And 2 is here. Now, this few number we're going to plus again. So, 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 3, which is 10. Therefore, put a 1 here and 0 here. Okay, next, these two numbers we plus, we get 2. Okay, remember, we read from here. So, 2, 0, 2, 7, 6, and you write down the answer. So this is multiplication by using lattice method. Next, multiply by 10, 100 and 1000. Now, 123 times 10, I get 1230. 123 times 100, I get 12,300. 1023 multiplied by 1000, I get 123,000. So what can we say about the zeros? Yeah, so when we multiply by 10, just one zero, and you insert one zero. And you, when you multiply by 100, which is two zero, so you write two zeros. 
And when you multiply by 1,000, three zeros, then you put three zeros, and so on. So let's solve following number sentences. Okay, I'm giving you 567 multiplied by what number, and I get 56,700. Now, remember, how many zero after that? You already increased by two zero, right? So here, it should be the number of 100. Yeah. What about this? What number multiplied by 1,000 and I get 230,000? Now, you check. What number after you add 3 zero, you can get this? It is actually 230. Next, keywords related to multiplication. There are some common keywords that are related to multiplication, such as product, times, repeated addition or items. So these few keywords we usually see during problems. Now I'm giving you one example. One box of cookies has 25 pieces. James bought 1,000 boxes of cookies. How many cookies does he have? Right, so the step one, what to solve. You're actually finding 1,000 boxes of cookies. You need to know what is total cookies inside there. Right, so step number two, one box contained 25 pieces. But here, James bought 1,000 boxes of cookies. I can say this one repeat for 1,000 boxes. The same box, but repeat for 1,000. Therefore, I'm taking 25 pieces, multiply by 1,000 boxes. I repeat for 1,000 boxes. By using the skills that we have already learned, multiply by 1,000, we only insert 3, 0. So the answer here is actually 25,000 pieces of cookies. So I will make a summary of today's lesson. So you have learned about multiplication skills. We multiply by one digit and also we multiply by two digit. We learn about using lattice method, right? So we learn about multiply by 10, 100, and 1000. Remember the zeros? Yeah, you put in the zero according to how many, num how many zeros that you multiply, all right? Next one is keywords related to multiplication, such as product, uh, times, repeated items, or repeated addition, right? Use that keywords to solve the problems, right? That's all for my video today. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.